productive little morning I had. I slept in. Okay, you guys, it's so funny because you know I'm a 4.30 a.m. queen like yesterday I was. But then I was tired all day. And then today I was like, I'm going to get up at 6. 6 o'clock alarm went off and I was like, mm, we're going to sleep. I got up at 8. I just let my body sleep because I'm like, I really have realized how important sleep is and I neglected it for a long time. Um, and so like if I don't get to bed on time, like I, it's like I love getting up at 4 30. It's like a reward to me, but then it's so weird, but it's like a reward. But if I don't get back to bed in time, I'm not getting up that early because I prioritize sleep. And I think that's the one thing I fail to realize and do in the past. So I'm like really working on that. So today, like last night I didn't go to bed till like, like I just was too awake. I don't know what why because i literally got up so early i got i got ready for bed around like 6 45 7 still wasn't in bed till 11 so i think i need to be better about shutting off my phone that is my fault um so that's gonna be my new like focus is when i go to bed i need to like shut everything off by like 9 30 got up and i'm like energized i haven't had coffee this morning i got up i'm drinking my water which is impressive my laundry i washed my face did all that did my makeup literally got fully ready for the day besides my pajamas because I'll, I'll change in a minute um put my laundry away i'm gonna read for 10 minutes because i i just like i'm really into the book right now and i'm like into it so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna write out my to-do list for the day get a little coffee in me get a little food in me change we're gonna get after it today it's gonna be a good day we're gonna have just as much of a productive great day waking up at 8 a.m than we did 4 30 okay let me show you guys <laughs> my breakfast i ate it just go to yogi bowl this is the protein i used today and then I did mango, blueberries, peanut butter, and then the banana bread. This granola, it's almost out. It's funny, I was just eating it by the spoonful by the end. <laughs> but I need to go get more, so. This is breakfast, now I'm gonna make a coffee. I'm proud of myself for eating and then now I'm gonna have my coffee. But it's funny because I'm like wide awake because I slept in, so I don't really need it as bad today. But um, I'm gonna have a cup so I can have some energy and pep before I record my podcast episode. 9.45, we're doing good. You guys, I just spent the last like a long time researching different topics for my podcast episode this week because I really wanted to like make a good episode and I was kind of struggling like what do I want to talk about this week and then all of a sudden I just had like a something just came over me and I was like do five hot girl habits and I'm like oh my god and so I was going through like new habits that I'm doing and how they changed my life and I was just like really thinking about it and then I started like researching stuff and I literally fully like obviously researched each topic and each habit and the last one is so like you have to listen to the podcast I'm gonna talk all about it and all my hot like habits but um little spoiler my fifth habit is about the way we dress and how like there's so much psychology behind it that I just like never understood and it's like I'm fascinated right now like I'm literally so interested I just went in like a deep dive down a rabbit hole of like learning all about it and like the colors we wear and like what we wear how it like affects one how we feel and two obviously how people like feel about us and are attracted to us and it's insane like you shouldn't dress for anyone's like approval or like attraction but yourself but it's crazy because it was saying how like if you're going to study you should wear like blue because it stimulates relaxation it improves concentration it lowers your blood pressure but when you're going on a date you could wear like red because it stimulates feelings of like compassion and um emotions and stuff like that and then black for like business professional stuff and when you want to be taken serious because it promotes like confidence and assertiveness and stuff and it's so crazy and then I got on the reason all this sparked in my brain is because I saw a TikTok about a girl talking about Sophia Richie. She's literally like the talk of TikTok right now and how her fashion changed and like evolved with like the men that she dated. And it was comparing like how she dressed. Obviously, she aged, but she's still 24. She's still fairly young. Well, she is young. Um, but like it was talking about how she dressed when she dated Justin Bieber versus the guy she just married, who literally is like the son of like the man who owns the network industry music industry thing that Justin Bieber works under like she really leveled up but like her fashion changed and it's like she was talking about when you go out and you wear all these like tiny little skippy outfits it attracts boys because um they want boys want to date a girl who they can like brag about and show off and be like she's hot but like men want to date somebody who gives off like confidence professional and they're proud of and like it's like a different mindset and like they want to show you off in a different way to like other men it was really interesting and i'm like that makes sense as you see like how people evolve in their fashion as they mature and stuff and i'm like wow not that i'm gonna not, like stop wearing my skimpy little tops like i like feeling like cute and hot whatever but that was interesting and i'm like hmm so now when i get dressed i'm like thinking of colors and outfits and everything and i'm like i want to start getting like actually dressed more um 
and like thinking about what I wear and like you should wear how you want to feel rather than how you feel it's crazy anyway I'm going to lunch I'm getting dressed right now so I'm like really thinking about it I'm not wearing this top and I'm wearing these jeans because I love them and they're cute um, but I need to figure out what's happening with it. Now I feel like pressure. I have to wear like a really cute outfit, but like it's not that serious. Okay, guys, this is the fit. I actually really like it. So I'm wearing these denim jeans from a Goldie Aritzia. Um, they have little rips in them. I got them in Chicago. You guys saw my last one of my last vlogs if you watched it. And then I'm just wearing a little tank top from Princess Polly. And then this little New York Yankees like flannel because it's still kind of cold outside. But um, I thrifted this actually in Arizona when I was there. But then I'm gonna wear my um new balance nice 60s with it yeah i need to go to lunch now so go to a little lunch date okay guys lunch was so fun so good um now i'm at target i'm gonna grab a few restocks because i'm kind of out honestly okay i wasn't gonna vlog because there's like literally a man in his car right in front of me but he's pulling out um i wasn't gonna i i just need like greek yogurt i need um, granola and oh i'm gonna get cookies and i'm gonna find things for mixins for my ice cream <laughs> um and then i'm just gonna browse because i go on a trip I go on a trip Wednesday, and then I'm gone for a week, so I'm going to Orange County, and I'm going to Nashville. So I cannot wait. I'm going to Orange County with Kayla, Taylor, and Nikki. We're staying at Nikki's, and it's just going to be a freaking blast. We're going Wednesday to Sunday, and then I'm going from Sunday to, like, Tuesday, I think, to Nashville with Beam. So it's, like, I'm literally flying from Orange County to Nashville. So it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be epic. But I need to, like, prepare and get ready for that. So I am going to go run Target and see if I can find anything that I need for the trips. Because I need to start thinking ahead of time before the day before. Because I'm going to be so stressed. You guys, this is so bad. I'm, like, blacking out on Target right now. So I have swimsuits. These dresses, I need to figure out what shade I want. This little bandeau top. You're kidding. I love bandeaus. And then I thought this would be so cute for California on the beach. Like, a little cover-up. So in front of this mirror, and we're going to figure out what colors look best. Because I'm into figuring out your shades. Okay, guys, now we're here because they didn't have any of the snacks that I wanted for my ice cream, and I know they'll have them here, so we're just gonna get some snacks. Okay, I got exactly what I wanted to get. First, I got a big water because I meant to go in a Target. Mm, I'm so parched, man. I'm, like, so thirsty. And this is my favorite, the massive one. It's my favorite ever. So I got that. But then I got these cookies. These are what I wanted to find. My friend Mesa tried these and said they're amazing, and I trust her. I put her on, like, the sweet thins. Got more of these, but I got the, um... Like the thin mint mint chocolate ones that are freaking amazing this and ice cream is gonna be amazing um but then yeah i got these little chocolate chip cookies because a little cookie dough moment these because i was like a little blizzard with these m&ms and then the cashier guy he was so sweet um he was like these are better than m&ms when i first started working here me trying them already he's like when i first started working here the, my co-workers told me they're better than m&ms and he goes and i'd have to say they are so let's try them mm. they're really good they're way more like chocolatey, you know what I'm saying? I've had the dark chocolate ones, I've never had the milk. Mm hmm. These are deaf going in my creamy. I'm gonna run home. It's 4 15. I think I'm gonna work out and then record my podcast because it's so nice out. And I feel like when I work out too late, I'm too awake at night. And I don't wanna be wired before I'm trying to go to bed. So I think I'm gonna try to work out at like 5 to 7, make dinner, and then record my podcast and go to bed. That's my plan for the day. Vibes are hot. All, everyone's been so sweet. Like, a customer just like came up and complimented my outfit. I was like, you are so sweet, thank you. Like made my day. Okay, it's gym time, you guys, and it's the first time I'm like rocking my merch to the gym. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're gonna go hit legs, hammies and glutes. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good one. Um, and yeah, so this is the fit, just a fine gray bra, blue shorts, and the self-made pump cover. I'm so excited. Also running a little behind schedule because a breach because i was literally sitting in well actually first my camera died when i was vlogging with for you guys earlier um my camera died mid-sentence earlier i don't even know what i was talking about but i was pretty much done with what i was saying i think um but it died but now we're gonna rock it at the gym um but i was waiting for my tiktok to upload so i could link it on my instagram story and then go on my story and talk about what i got and literally tiktok took 10 years to upload my tiktok so i literally sat in the parking lot for like 20 minutes Waiting. I almost just like gave up. I'd be like, oh no, it's probably almost done. It's probably almost done. No, 20 minutes later, then we got it up. The energy, I'm gonna record my podcast, otherwise, I'll just do it first thing in the morning. Um, because the good thing is, I have all of like the notes parts done um, for it. It's just a matter of now like recording it, but I have like the base outline, which is good. Frank, you guys, I came here thinking the garages would be open because it's sunny and 60. They're not. 
and I'm just like not in the vibe for this gym but like also I was gonna film a workout and it's just not aesthetic and this gym is very aesthetic and my other one is not but like I'm vibing my other gym but it's not aesthetic and then I have to drive all the way there do I just suck it up and lift here I don't want to though like at all like I'm not vibing it at all I was so excited for the sun to be out and like a garage door to be open and they're all shut on a beautiful day like why would you waste it not something to be stressed about but like you know when you get like just like your head in a certain mindset of like oh it's gonna be beautiful garage doors gonna be open it's gonna be a vibe and then it's just like a dark gym with a bunch of power lifters there's not what i was feeling today but i think i'm gonna go in there and i think we're just gonna have a really good workout because i do want to use the squat belt machine but then other than that like there's nothing really ugh, i don't know what to do okay guys just finished at the gym i did not vlog in there i actually had quite a good workout um, I filmed it for Insta, so I did not vlog, and it was quite busy, and I was like, I'm not about to pull out two cameras, I just can't, I, just, I can't do it, I'm sorry, I wish I could, but I can't, <laughs> um, but, anyway, I'm gonna go home and make ice cream, and eat dinner, and I'm just so excited, okay, I need to go, the sunset's really pretty too, so I actually want to show you, I forgot I had y'all hooked in my steering wheel, and then I tried to drive away, and then you got locked in my blinker, and that was just a disaster, and then there's a little boy on his bike, and I just can't wait to show you the sunset. This is literally the perfect spot. Oh my god. Like see the glow of the sunset on your during your workout and it's just like immaculate. Okay, right, I just finished dinner. It was like a little beef bowl. Put some like cavi cavi cowboy caviar in it. Ah! Drop his corn. And they said with my ninja creamy, you're supposed to let this like sit out and defrost for like 10 minutes before you put it in. And you're not supposed to have a lump, so I'm gonna try to chip away at that lump and get it gone before I put it in the machine. And we're gonna make some ice cream. You guys, this is the best thing I have ever eaten in my entire life. Okay, so all it is in here, I filled it like up to here with almond milk. My light, that Taylor was making fun of me in my last YouTube video for is coming pretty handy right now. I added a scoop of cake pop protein powder, okay? And then I added maybe like a tablespoon of sugar-free jello mix, strawberry, and then I thought this was sugar-free, it's not, whatever, vanilla pudding mix. And then I mix in. And then for my mix-ins, I put in a Simple Meals cookie and some of these M&Ms from today. And then just sprinkles. I could cry. This is so good. This literally makes me love life. Truly love life. I, I don't know how I lived without one of these. I really don't. So if you're debating on buying it, buy it. You will not regret it. I, I promise you. Like, literally look at this. Do you see that? Look at that. That is thick, soft serve protein ice cream. I don't understand. This is a block of ice before. Now it's this creamy amazingness. Oh my god. I'm gonna link it below for you guys. I'm telling each and every one of you to buy one. If you're in a protein ice cream or ice cream. If you like ice cream at all. You can make smoothie bowls, gelato, milkshakes. There's different settings. But like, I'm here for the light ice cream. Mmm. Highlight of my entire day. I did eat this for breakfast yesterday. But this is the best flavor. The combination of jello and like a creaminess, strawberry ice cream. And I don't even, I've never gotten strawberry ice cream in my life. That's never been my go-to until today. This, this is amazing. And it's pink. It's freaking pink. Mmm, the cookie. Mmm. This was quite literally amazing. So I'll be making more. I'm going to make more for tomorrow. So I'm going to make it on here and show you guys how I make it. But I'm so cold that my mouth is frozen. Should I turn on my light? Let's see how much of a difference it makes. I actually feel like it kind of bright <clears throat> brightens it up a bit. So I'm going to be flying through almond milk now. So I'm going to fill this up to about there. So that's like the max fill line. So I don't go all the way. I literally just bought this almond milk on Monday. Okay, and then one scoop of cake pop protein. And then and sugar-free jello mix. Okay, that was kind of a lot. <laughs> like a teaspoon. And then same for the pudding mix. This is critical, I've learned, um, and making the consistency good. So, add that in there. Literally not sugar-free, but it's pudding mix. So, that works. And then you just, wait, look how fast this was. You just blend it up. And then you just pop the lid on and pop it in the freezer. 
it's as simple as that and now i have amazing protein ice cream ready for tomorrow okay now it's already 9 10 i'm not gonna film my podcast tonight i'm gonna do it tomorrow um but i'm going to go shower and get into bed so i can get up because i have a hot bands class at 6 45 in the morning so i'm excited because i've never done that class and then i'm gonna run tomorrow from the podcast it's gonna be a good day okay i thought i was gonna end the vlog after dinner but i just made some tea wait why did none of it go in the thing i think i made oh sometimes when i put it in the machine it like the sh yeah i did, i had a not angled right but i'm making this puka nighttime berry tea it's literally my favorite ever it's so delish it's i got it at target um it's berries chamomile and some other thing i can't i don't even know what it says but it's so delish put a little stevia packet in there for a little sweetness and you guys should be proud of me i was gonna stay up and record my podcast because i have so much energy but i'm drinking tea and i'm gonna read my book and i'm gonna wind down and try to go to bed um so i can get up and feel refreshed and energized all day tomorrow because i have so much energy all day today today was such a good day like a million out of ten day I really believe it's because i slept in today and i felt energized because yesterday was more of a lull day and i got up earlier so i kind of began to notice the difference that makes in my mood if i don't get a full eight hours and in my podcast one of my hot girl habits is getting eight hours of sleep so i'm gonna fall through with it baby because it's so important i was reading i was reading up on it today i'm like wow but here's my tea it's so delicious it's so yum also it's funny because i used to like be a tea girl but like not like love it why didn't i ever just add stevia to it it tastes so much better oh my god it's so hot but this is like delicious i did just brush my teeth though so it's like mint and berry and Okay, I'm currently uploading the clips um, from my workout today at the gym just to get them to my phone. Oh, I need to have my phone open. Um, to get them to my phone so then I can edit them tomorrow morning um, and get them up for you guys on Insta because I've been posting too late the past couple days because I just hadn't had content in the morning. And so yeah, I'm doing that, drinking my tea. Perfect, they just loaded onto my phone. Um, and yeah, I am just really happy and not tired whatsoever. So I might take some melatonin, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's 9.45. Also, I'm like on a screen with the lights on. So, I'm not helping myself at all. Um, but I'm going to go lay in bed and read. And try to get sleepy. But this quality is just insane compared to my iPhone on the clip. Crazy. Um, like, you can literally see like every ounce of even like cellulite on my skin. It's crazy. I love it. Like, it's so crisp. Okay, yeah. I'm going to end the vlog here now. Also, you guys, did I tell you? This is my other Amazon set. that I'm obsessed with clearly. This is the third one, my onesie from yesterday, and then I have this color. It's like a green, yellowy, and then with blue flowers, and my other one's pink, and it's, I feel like it's more of like a white. Um, but yeah, I'll link them below. I love them, $20. They're so fun and cute. Okay, I'm gonna stop chatting. I'm gonna go to bed. Love you, see you in the next vlog. Bye.